Hello and welcome to learn ADS in five minutes. This is tutorial 13 and in this tutorial we will look at how to work with touchstone files or what we call as this parameter file in ADS. Even if you have been using ADS for quite some time and you have been very successful using it, you will still find something new in this video. So hang on for next five minutes. So uh, what we are going to do here. So in our uh, simulation bench, often at times there is a need to, to share data with our partners, our friends or any other you know, uh, person who is dependent on us. So a very common need is to generate an S parameter file from our simulation. So before we do that, let me switch this view to Murata. And let's assume um, this is the file which we have to give it to you know, some third party. Now, in order to export this data into a file, it's very simple. There are many ways to do that. One of the simple way is from the S parameter simulation library palette, we can place this SP output. And we can call, uh, we can name the file in which we want. So let me call it my filter underscore data dot S2P. So this is the you know file name uh, which will get created. The format will be touchstone and the and the file type will be touchstone and the format will be magnitude and angle. Now once we run an S parameter simulation because of this component being there on our test bench, a file will be created under a data folder of our workspace. So if you go inside the data folder, we can notice my filter underscore data dot S2P. And I can just edit it using any uh, you know notepad editor and that's a regular touchstone file which ADS just created uh, in the specific format. Now, uh, in order to you know, compare this data, often a time the other way is to, so let me disable that, and let's go back to our ideal view. And for the moment, just pretend that uh, this is our simulation data, and somebody has given us you know, a measurement file for this filter, and we have to compare that file. So, the usual way of comparing this parameter file is people end up setting up simulation bench something like this and then run a simulation to create a data set and that using that data set they plot multiple data on a single graph to compare and to read in any s parameter file we can simply filter out snp um, and this is the default symbol of that component we can double click on it. We can browse to the S2P file wherever it is kept. We keep open and we say apply. And depending on the number of ports in this parameter file, the symbol will take the shape accordingly. If you have large port count data, you can also choose the proper pin configuration to orient some of these pins on the symbol. Now, if you want to just view the data before you use it in ADS, you can also click on check view as parameter a viewer window will appear and then using here you could just keep ahead and you know plot data which you want to see you can move the cursor read the readout on the right hand side so it's kind of very flexible now so this is what people end up doing so they create a simulation and as parameter template uh, bench we run simulation and see but there is an easier way out if you just need to compare the data using the data display here in ADS um, we could read in the file and the way you do that is by going to tools data file tool now I just showed you how to write an S parameter file using the same this utility here for data file tool I can write a data file from data set so I can for example here say create test to underscore data dot s2p the format has to be touchstone you can choose the data format, magnitude angle or DB angle. You can select the right data set for which you want to generate the data. For example, this is my data set. And when I click on write to file, your file write will be successful. Now, if you go back to data, I have another S2P file, which is test2. And again, you can open it in Notepad Editor. The same utility also allows you to read in the data file from data set. You can browse to the file which you want to read and then you can give it a data set because in ADS workspace everything has to be data set format and the data will be read and the data set will be created. Now another way to do the same thing is from ADS schematic and if you have this HSD library Peloton if you remember in earlier videos we talk about this HSD 
there is an icon here, which is this parameter viewer. Now we can browse to the data file which we have. So in this case, let's pretend that this is a measured data of our filter design. I click open and a new data set or a data display will be created and this is the data set name uh, as per the file name we have. Now if we go back to our simulation data here and if you have to compare our design with the measurement data, I can right click, change the data set as per the file uh, name we used to create the data set and we can select the respective measurement and now that measurement will be available for us to plot. And now we can do a very fair comparison of how our simulated design turned out to be with measurement. Well, that's your five minutes in learning about how to deal with touchstone files in ADS and how to do import and export of this kind of data in ADS very, very easily. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.